10 Strategies to Manage Your Money in 2023 Hello! Welcome to the Dream Up channel. On this channel, we will be sharing tips and nuggets on finance, business, the market, and every other thing you need to take your dream up. In this video, we will look at the top 10 strategies to manage your money in 2023. Before the video starts, like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos. Most individuals talk about how to make more money, but fewer people discuss efficient money management. While building wealth is important, it's also crucial to secure your money and manage it carefully. To maintain long-term stability and liquidity, your hard-earned money needs to be saved, invested, and used wisely in a methodical manner. Effective money management is one way to do this. Maintaining a record of your costs and evaluating them regularly is a crucial part of good money management. This enables you to maintain financial management. It assists in identifying wasteful spending, reducing it, and allocating funds to essentials. Here are some strategies for money management in 2023. Number 10. Create Budget. The first and most crucial step in managing your finances is to create a budget. It has been in use for centuries and is a reasonably straightforward measurement. Estimate how much money you will ideally need to spend each month depending on your income, lifestyle, and wants to create a budget. Having such an estimate will enable you to better manage your money and organize your spending and savings as necessary. You can track and reach your financial objectives more successfully without sacrificing your lifestyle if you have more control and knowledge over your spending patterns. Number 9. Save first, then spend. As a general guideline, it is beneficial to set aside a portion of your monthly income before beginning to spend it on necessities like groceries, rent, energy, loan payments, insurance premiums, etc. By doing this, you can be certain that you are ready for any eventuality and reduce the possibility that you will spend more than you have planned. Number 8. Establish Financial Goals Setting financial goals helps you stay on task and curbs impulse purchases. Plan accordingly what you want to accomplish with your money both now and in the future. You must begin investing in financial products if you want to attain your long-term financial objectives, such as your dream home, your child's education, retirement, and a host of other things. Always create attainable objectives with clear deadlines. This will keep you motivated and make sure your money is being used wisely. Number 7. Start saving money early. It's a good idea to start saving money as early as possible. This allows you more time to increase your money and, over time, earn bigger returns. Aim to begin investing and saving with your first paycheck. The Wealth Creation Plan ISSI Pro Lifetime Classic 1 is excellent for long-term savings. This unit, Linked Plan 2 provides two key advantages. The chance to generate sizable cash for your financial goals, as well as financial safety for your loved ones in the form of a life cover. You can select any one of the plan's four portfolio strategies based on your objectives and level of risk tolerance. Choose from equity, balance, or debt funds, and swap between them whenever you want without incurring any additional fees. Additionally, the plan rewards you for maintaining your investment for a longer length of time and paying all of your premiums on time without any defaults with Loyalty Editions 3 and Wealth Boosters 4. This significantly raises your overall income. You can also decide whether to make a one-time payment, a monthly, biannual, or annual premium payment. Last but not least, Section 80C of the Income Tax Act. 1961 allows you to receive tax benefits 5 on premium payments of up to 46. 800. Number 6. Avoid debt. Taking out loans to pursue your goals in life is a frequent strategy, but they do have their share of drawbacks. Your funds may be reduced by the high interest rate. Multiple loan applications also lower your credit score, making it more difficult for you to get financing when you need it or in certain situations, even a job. So, make every effort to keep your debt to a minimum. Being reliant on credit cards or accruing excessive debt might hurt your budget and put a strain on your finances. Number 5. Start early. It's crucial to begin saving as soon as possible. 
Let's use an example to better grasp this. Take Mr. A, who begins saving $10, 000, 000 each month from the time he is 30 years old until the time he is 60 years old. This indicates that he saves $1, 20, 000 annually. Let's compare this to Mr. B, who begins saving twice as much annually from the age of 45 to the age of 60, or $2, 40, 000. Number 4. Ensure emergency protection. It is always advisable to have financial preparedness for any type of life challenges. These uncertainties may manifest as a job loss, an accident, or an unforeseen medical situation. Being financially prepared can make it easier for you to handle such circumstances. Insurance policies like the term, health, and critical illness insurance can help you protect your family's finances in the event of an emergency. Number 3. Begin or increase your IRA. Americans may make IRA contributions of up to $6,000 if they are 50 years of age or older in 2022. Now can be a wise time to start investing for your retirement by starting a new IRA account or adding to an existing one if you haven't yet reached your contribution limit. This is because the stock market is considerably down from its highs. Alternatively, if your employer has a 401k or another retirement plan, now might be a good time to think about raising your contribution level. Considering that the majority of financial advisors, including me, advise Americans to seek to save at least 10% of their income for retirement. You might want to up your savings rate by a few percentage points before the year is out. Number 2. Develop a strategy to pay off your high interest debt. The interest rates on your credit cards are not only high, many people are unaware of this, but they are also fluctuating and they are closely related to the Federal Reserve's recent interest rate increases. The Fed has increased benchmark interest rates by 300 basis points 3%, during the current rate hiking cycle, and your credit card interest rates have increased by the same amount. In other words, if the APR on your credit card was 16.9% at the beginning of 2022, it is likely to be 19.9% at this point. The point is that if you have credit card debt, it's now much more crucial to develop a strategy to manage it. You might research balance transfer offers with 0% APR. A personal loan with a predetermined payoff date and a substantially reduced interest rate could be another choice. After all, if you pay less interest, more of your payments will be used to reduce the principal. Number 1. Review your expenses. Printing out the past two months' worth of bank and credit card statements and doing a spending audit are sensible exercises to perform periodically. Look for costs you could have avoided, subscriptions or memberships you aren't using, and other areas where you can cut costs without making a big change to your way of life. The last time I did this, I found a $38.99 monthly online new subscription that I hadn't used in months and realized that I was spending twice as much on eating out as I was comfortable with. Do you like this video? Post your comments in our comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more interesting content.